Hey there YouTube, this is SJAM4306 and I just wanted to show you guys uh, all the parts that I've gathered basically for this um, new project that I'm working on. So I had gotten one of these iCade cabinets for really cheap and apparently no one wants these. They're, they just take up a lot of room and they're really only meant to be used with uh, iPads and yeah, I don't really see the the market for, you know, like retro uh, arcade gamers with apple fanboys so anyway so apparently they made these a couple years ago and they i guess sort of weren't that popular so you can find these pretty easily for like 20 or 30 bucks uh the only issue is shipping i found this at a uh at a flea market so obviously i got a pretty good deal on this so i was thinking well what can i do with this uh pretty much pre-built out of wood arcade cabinet well I 3d printed a case for my old Raspberry Pi I know how to run retro Pi I showed you guys uh, my mini NES project so this will be perfect um, HDMI out uh, USB LAN video AV whatever you need yeah so basically all I need is retro Pi installed on SD card with this guy I have the shell already the IK comes with nice clicky buttons and a uh, four-way joystick. I gutted the original Bluetooth board out of this. This won't be necessary now. So I'll be installing probably like uh, directly wiring the buttons to the GPIO on the Raspberry Pi. I have this as a dual 3-watt uh, digital Class D amplifier with a nice little volume knob. So I'm going to chop these off, wire them to these two speakers here. And these are going to sit kind of right below, uh, let's see, they're going to sit right below the top portion of the arcade, kind of uh, facing downwards. So I will need to cut a little bit of scrap wood for that. I pulled from an old speaker, uh, this MDF, I believe it's MDF, uh, basically just going to chop this up, insert that underneath so I have something to mount these speakers on. And so that'll take care of audio. For power supply, I think I got this from a photocopier or something like a laser printer. And so this is a pretty beefy uh, supply. I modified it to add a master power switch. So this will turn everything on and off. And there's going to be soft power control via the Raspberry Pi as well. So this will turn it um, basically like a master power switch. Uh, there is a, a power indicator they added as well on the 5 volt line. This outputs plus 5 volts and plus 24 volts. I probably won't need the 24 volts. I, I might use that for like LED lighting, maybe change the um, the regulation, the resistors on the output regulator for the 24 volt rail. If I can bring that down to 12 volts, 12 volts I can use. The 5 volt rail should be good. Um, these wires are pretty thick and it was a pretty beefy printer from what I remember. This should be pretty good for powering the Raspberry Pi, the LCD, and everything else. And that brings me finally to the LCD. I'd purchased this guy here. And the driver board is here as well. So this is an 8-inch, um, I believe it's 800 by 600. It's an IPS LCD, so the, the colors absolutely pop. They look really good. So this is a driver board for it. It takes VGA, uh, RCA, and HDMI input. Uh, you can power it via anywhere from 5 to 12 volts, and it works just fine. It has a keypad. Uh, it has an on-screen menu where you can adjust colors, aspect ratio, pretty much everything that you possibly want. And it also comes with a little remote control too, but I don't think I'm really going to need that. Probably just going to set... All the settings up at the beginning and then that's it won't need to change it so this is the lcd itself it's a, it's eight inches so this is the back panel board and it has you know the icade sticker on the other side i don't really care about that but you can see the lcd fits perfectly with a little bit of room on the side um you know just for mounting the the end plates here but yeah you can see this is all starting to come together just need to uh probably mount some some kind of standoff for the LCD to mount it, like a shadow box sort of thing to give it a little bit of depth. Uh, put a clear sheet of Perspex or acrylic uh, on the front to protect everything and so I can mount a little bit of a 
you know, some artwork or something like that on some vinyl on top of that. And yeah, this will come together and this will be pretty awesome. So I have power supply already good to go. Have audio speakers already good to go. Most of the frame is done. Just need to cut a little bit more wood for mounting the speakers up at the top. I'm going to have a marquee, so I'm going to need another clear sheet of uh, acrylic or something like that. I'm going to put some some vinyl artwork um, that's like semi-transparent and mar mount some white LEDs right behind it so that it'll glow uh, just like a real marquee would on, a, on an arcade system. So yeah, this will be pretty cool. Um, I already have all the parts, have pretty much a good idea of what I need to do, just got to do it. Uh, I'm on break right now, but unfortunately, um, I'm only on break for about a week, so this is going to be a long-term project. I can do most of the software while I'm at school, but I don't really have access to power tools or anything like that that I'd have at home. So yeah, this will probably have to wait until the summer or something like that until I get some time. Anyway, I'm super stoked about this, uh, making... Uh, this arcade system after I'm done. I'm probably just gonna leave this vinyl on here for now uh, After I finish everything else I can always unscrew this and I can remove this vinyl and then do custom artwork So if you guys have any ideas I was thinking so uh, I'm a really big fan of Game Boy games and uh, this emulator does emulate Game Boy NES pretty well uh, as well as Game Boy Advance. So I was thinking some sort of Nintendo Game Boy or Game Boy Advance theme vinyl art uh, for the entire system and maybe even like um, I can set up the the bezel around the LCD to look like the DMG Game Boy with the red power LED and you know where it says Nintendo at the bottom and it says dot matrix gaming and it has the uh, bezel frame that's dark gray so if you guys think that would look awesome uh, plus not to mention you know this is sort of set up I've moved around the button so this is sort of for Game Boy games, so we have A, B, uh, start, select, and then whatever other buttons you might need to exit out of the emulator, change settings, that kind of stuff. So yeah, um, I was thinking of also eventually getting some uh, clear arcade buttons they sell, and I can stick some NeoPixels in there and an Arduino in, in the bottom here, so I can have it change color. So maybe what I was thinking is, depending on what system you have selected, so if you have Game Boy selected, it'll light up the two buttons red, the rest will just be, you know, some other color. And and then maybe if you select SNES, it'll have the uh, Super Famicom colors, red, green, blue, yellow. And yeah, there's a lot of cool things you can do if I have um, RGB LEDs under all these, you know, if these were clear buttons. Also, uh, another thing I forgot to mention, I added some more LEDs. It was pretty pathetic. This little... Uh, fake coin slot was basically a power indicator originally for the with the original board that came with it the bluetooth board and there's a single led and it didn't really light up the whole thing and there were spots on the pcb to add more leds so i did that so i added a couple more red leds so this whole thing lights up pretty spectacularly now uh that looks really cool i'm probably just going to keep that as like a power indicator and maybe screw and mount a push button here like a momentary switch that'll handle uh, soft power for the Raspberry Pi so anyway I've rambled on for about you know 10 minutes uh, hopefully you guys like this project if you have any cool ideas let me know this is sort of, sort of still in the planning stage I've got most of the parts together already uh, it's just a matter of uh, putting it together cutting things screwing them together mounting uh, lots of parts and then figuring out what I'm gonna do for the vinyl the artwork so yeah, anyway, I will see you guys later.